Uh, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Edward W. Taylor, Jr. I'm president of the Cumberland Historic Cemetery Organization, and today is Monday, January the 2nd, 2017. I am here at the headquarters of the Cumberland Historic Cemetery Organization at 400 South Allegheny Street, Cumberland, Maryland, in Allegheny County. We are here to um, begin a series of YouTube videos. Many of them will be tours of our historic adopted cemeteries since 1983 when we became incorporated, and many of them are of our adopted and designated protected grave sites. These total well over 800. Many of these grave sites are in Allegheny County, Maryland, and nearby Mineral County, West Virginia, just across the Potomac River. Um, in 2003, we uh, chose this location. Uh, this was where we began to meet as our headquarters, and this is our meeting room. Uh, the organization, as I said, was founded in, and incorporated in 1983 for the purpose of promoting true United States history by promoting the true U.S. history located within our cemeteries. The grave sites that we have marked over the years are go clear back to the great American Revolution and the Patriots who fought in that war. To the Civil War, we have many Union and Confederate monuments we've erected over the years. Clear to our current day deceased members who, when they die, they are able to receive a monument with the organization seal. Just above the mantle here is the original painting of our corporate seal that our late co-founder, Catherine Wolford, painted in the 1980s. Uh, Mrs. Wolford was a local public school elementary teacher and a local artist. The painting is a scene in St. Patrick's Roman Catholic Cemetery, which is located in the north end of Cumberland with the famous Cumberland narrow background and uh, many of the major monuments within the cemetery. Over the years, the organization has been a great promoter of all U.S. history flags. We decorate our designated and protected grave sites with the appropriate historical flags. Many of the American Revolutionary graves are decorated with the Gadsden flag, the famous Don't Tread on Me. Uh, the Confederate graves are decorated with the third national Confederate flag. That was the last flag of the Confederacy in 1865 during the Civil War, and technically it is still the official Confederate flag. Uh, just behind us here, we have a painting of uh, St. Michael the Archangel, who is the patron of the organization. And that is a painting that was done in 1891 by a German artist. And in about 10 to 15 years, we're going to build a bronze statue on a monument dedicated to all of our deceased members. And that particular painting will be turned into a bronze statue, which will grace the top of the monument. From here, we will go outside and um, we will visit the 1801 Captain David Lynn columns, which grace this home. Thank you. Okay, we are outside the headquarters of the Cumberland Historic Cemetery Organization at 400 South Allegheny Street, Cumberland, Maryland. Uh, we have two uh, historic monuments that's on the premises I'd like to point out. This is a monument here dedicated to the patron saint of the organization, St. Michael. It was built in 2003, and since this being the Christmas season, you can see the organization nativity scene, which we put out every year, which is located right behind it. Just down here, these four brownstone columns, two on this side of the street, uh, two on the other, are uh, believed to be the oldest standing structures in the city of Cumberland, Maryland. They were built in 1801 as the entranceway to the historic Rose Home Mansion, which used to stand directly there where Interstate 68 is, which goes east and west through the city of Cumberland. These brownstone columns were the entranceway into the estate. This was more or less the driveway. And uh, in 2008, the cemetery organization, which that is our corporate seal, and the Preservation Society of Allegheny County, Maryland, uh, went together and built this beautiful red granite plaque in honor of Captain David Lynn, the American Revolutionary War soldier, which built the Rose Hill Estate. On the plaque, it covers over two centuries of great American history. It talks of Captain Lynn's descendants. Uh, for example, three of the grandsons of Captain Lynn fought in the Army of the Confederacy during the U.S. Civil War. Uh, above, we have the corporate seal of the United States. It's a little bit wet. We've had rain earlier today, and it's a little difficult to see. Um, and this was the 
um, motto and the original seal of the United States of America during the time of Captain David Lynn's life. And it was designed by uh, founding fathers Benjamin Franklin and third U.S. President Thomas Jefferson. And the motto was rebellion to tyrants is obedience to God. It shows uh, Moses and Israelites on the shore of the Red Sea as the Red Sea collapses and destroys Pharaoh's evil army. Uh, and you can see right here the uh, column of fire which held back the tyrants from oppressing uh, the good Israelites of the time. Anyhow, uh, we have many monuments of different sizes, shapes, and styles in cemeteries all through the area. Uh, we have two monuments um, that are located, uh, well, we have many monuments, I should say, that are located out of the area. Uh, the most furthest away monument is in Micanopy, Florida, to the south and to the north. Uh, we have a monument to one of our deceased members, Dr. Gene Bayless, near Johnstown, Pennsylvania. Thank you. Alright guys, leave a like and subscribe and any comments and thanks.